1-877-777-777. One ounce of Total has 100% of the recommended daily allowance of all these important vitamins and iron. Yeah? I'll pour this leading natural cereal. Stop me when you think the vitamin value equals totals. Right about there. Not yet. Now? Nope. That's incredible. It takes at least 16 ounces of the leading natural cereals to equal the vitamins in one ounce of fortified total. Well, I can see the difference. That's the total difference. Hmm. Pia and I bring you all the news tonight at 5. The stars you've just seen says, and I quote, my name strikes terror in the minds of very big people. Now, who do you think that is? Is it the expressive Robert Pine? The exciting Dodie Goodman? The exceptional Conrad Bain? The extraterrestrial Anne Lockhart? Or the semi-extraordinary Bob Guillaume? We'll find out whose name strikes terror when our all-star panel and these three competitors meet face-to-face -face on All-Star Secrets. And now, here's the host of All-Star Secrets, Bob Eubanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to All-Star Secrets. I just, I just told you that one of our stars says that their name strikes terror in the hearts and minds of very big people. And I think I know who it is, but we're going to find out right now who made that statement. Yes, Bob, you made the statement. All right. Yeah. Guillaume. Guillaume. Yes. Yeah. That, that's a tough name to say. Well, it's really not that tough. I mean, when I... Uh, see, I changed my name from... Uh, Something very mundane, Robert Williams, and uh, oh yeah, gosh, I, mean, I wish you'd have kept. No, really, that name—that's oh. uh, that's such a mundane, d banal name. I, I thought, but if I were changing it now, I mean, I would never have changed it. What I would you change your name to now? Oh well, I would change it. Uh, I'm not, well in the '60s. You see, there's a whole Robert thing that went, went on. When, if if it was the '60s, I would change it to something like Awa Dungi Wungi Wild Dats. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> A whole lot of things like that, you know. Yeah. But uh, so that that era passed me by. So so now everybody's back to Robert Williams, you know. Uh, in the meantime, I'm stuck with Robert Guillaume. <laughs> yes, that's for sure. <laughs> but, but at any rate, it'll be Funny. it'll be the name. I'll be known as the person with the unpronounceable name. And any distinction you can get here is uh, good. Well, so far this week, I've called you Guillaume. And I'll call you Guillaume before it's over. Yeah, I but know Bob, it. you got that terrible. You got a funny name too. Eubanks. I mean, the Oi Banks, Eubanks. What do That's a, that's that's not really your your basic uh, your name there, you know. Oh, Robert, <laughs> Robert, Robert Pinier over here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert, yeah. Okay, those are the kind of big name secrets you're going to hear revealed by our stars today. Well, we'll meet our three contestants. It'll be their job to determine who our secrets are all about. When we come back right after these words. All right? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's okay. Um, where are the super feminine napkins, please? The new beltless ones? Beltless? I didn't know there was a beltless napkin in super. There is now. New Stay Free Super Maxi Pads. They're super feminine protection. They're thicker. But do they stay secure? Sure. The adhesive strip is extra wide. Wow. A super napkin and beltless comfort, too. Mm -hmm. Stay Free Regular Maxi Pads introduces Stay Free Super Maxi Pads, the first beltless napkin in super. I am stuck on Band-Aid, cause Band-Aid's stuck on me. I am stuck on Band-Aid, cause Band-Aid's stuck on me. Cause they all got tight in the bathtub and they clingered so he said. Announcing an improved stay-on adhesive on Band-Aid brand adhesive bandages from Johnson & Johnson. You'll notice the difference cause it stays on you better than anything else you can buy. I am stuck We're back with All Star Secrets. I want you to meet our three contestants now. And I hope you all win a lot of money today. First of all, a student of art and history who loves roller skating, Vanessa Giome. No, 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 that's not right. No, I figured Giome was easier to say than her last name. You, see? you yeah. say it for me, Vanessa. It's Frigé. Frigé. You're right. Bob Frigé. That would have been a little easier. Okay. And a printer and an engraver originally from Rochester, Minnesota, Michael O'Grady. That's when he's easy. Oh, Good. Yeah. And a partly complex manager who's raising a set of twin boys. Battle stars you must have. Dale <laughs> Taylor. Contestants, welcome to All Star Secrets. Now, here's our, how our competition works. Every time I reveal a secret, one of the stars over here will tell you who they think that secret is about. Then it'll be up to you to decide for yourself. And every time you choose the correct star, well, you'll win some money. 
Now, contestants, you'll determine how much each secret is worth by stopping our random money selector. And in round one, our secrets are worth between $120 and $300. Vanessa, you won the toss of the coin backstage before the show, so you get to push the button first, and let's see what our first secret is worth. Here we go. Right there. Good way to go. $300. Very good. For $300, here's our first secret. One of our panelists says they don't look down on prostitutes, even though they were once punched out by an irate hooker. <laughs> now, it's not you, Conrad, but who looks like they've been punched out by a hooker? Oh, wow. <laughs> I think at least three of the five people here look punched out. I, I can't use that as a barometer. Well, I don't think it was Andy. I think we can eliminate Andy. You don't think a hooker would punch Andy? No, I think okay. she'd hit her back. Uh, and I don't think it's Doty. No, you don't think I it's Hooker Punch Doty? Unless they were short. No. <laughs> Who do you think it is? I think it's Bob Peony. You think it's Bob Robert Pine Pio. over yeah. here? All right. Conrad Bain thinks it is Robert Pine, our man from Chips. It's worth three hundred dollars. If all three of you are right, you'd each get $100. Two of you write right, $150. But if you're the only one with the correct answer, then you're going to win all of the money, $300. Contestants, lock in your answers right now. You're looking for the star who doesn't look down on prostitutes, even though they were punched out by a hooker. Everybody made their choice? Okay. Who do you say it is? Everybody thinks it is. It's Bob. Really? What does that say? I don't know, but let's find out if it is you. If it is, they're going to get all the money over here. We'll split it three ways. And no, Ann Lockhart is who it's about. Oh. Uh -oh. Come on. You don't look down on prostitutes, even though you were once punched out by an irate hooker. What happened? I was in Durango, Mexico, making a film. And uh, I was playing a prostitute in this film. Uh -huh. A very young one. I was 18. And uh, I went to, to, we went out to dinner. We had a full Mexican crew who spoke no English whatsoever. And my Spanish was, I was just doing my best, but I could get myself to a bathroom and order coffee in the morning, and that was about the sure. extent of it. And I went to a restaurant with uh, these two huge, beefy guys who were kind of protecting me. One was the six foot five cowboy actor, and another was a stunt man. And they took me out. And I got up to go to the ladies' room, and I walked past a booth. And there was our sweet sound man, who was this lovely elderly gentleman who spoke no English. And he was sitting with a Mexican lady of the evening. And I went over Hooker. to him and leaned over and said in my sweetest voice in Spanish, something like, uh, hello, how are you? Are you having a good time tonight? Well, it seems what I said was, hi, how are you? Would you like to have a good time tonight? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> This lady the lady thought you were moving in on her action. by the coat lapels and laid her right, <laughs> right into my okay. jaw. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you didn't win any money, though, over here again. I would have never guessed Ann either. All right, who has control this time? Somebody. Michael, you have control of our random money selector. Remember, these secrets are true. They come from interviews with our staff. And Michael, let's see if you can't come up with $300. No, $210. All right. For $210. Many stars have told us on the show that they always knew they would be a performer. One of today's stars told our staff, though, and I quote them now, looking back, I'm surprised that I ever went into acting because it never occurred to me that I would be anything other than a doctor. Now, it's not you, Dodie, but who's surprised to be sitting here? They thought that they would probably become a doctor, Dodie. Um, well, uh, let me see. I don't know. They all look like born actors. To me, they do, huh? really, um, uh, Conrad. I think it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think he really wanted to be a frontiersman in Canada. <laughs> and he said, All right, I'll say uh, Bob. Do you think it's Bob Guillaume? Yes. All right. If it is Bob Guillaume, somebody over here may win some money. That's what Dodie Goodman says. How do you people at home feel about it? Better yet, how do you feel about it? Lock in your answers and tell us, who do you think it is? You're looking for the star who says they, they're, they're surprised that he went into acting because they always planned to be a doctor. Okay, everybody's made their choice. And ever, two of you say that it's Robert. Dale said it is Conrad. All right, if it's Conrad Dale, you're going to win $210. If it turns out to be Robert Pine, Vanessa and Michael will split the money. Let's find out which one of our stars this secret is about. It's about Robert Pine. Okay, Vanessa and Michael, you were right. You get $105 a piece. Good for you. A doctor? Yeah. Now, I grew up in a place called Scarsdale, New York. Ta-da. 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 Yes. And in Scarsdale, you're either a doctor, lawyer, bank president, insurance uh, executive. No actors in Scarsdale. No, they don't allow them in or something, or they yeah. keep them in a very uh, uh, s selective place there. 
And it just never occurred to me to, to become anything other well, than that. Well, you know, the people you ran with and everything, did they all become doctors and bankers? They, my best friend is uh, in high school, is now a doctor, an orthopedic surgeon in Massachusetts, and uh, another uh, friend of mine is a, an oceanographer, PhD. Do, do people look down on you for being an actor? No, I think th that was the strangest reaction. They loved it, somebody doing do, do, something different. Do you think different. people look down on anybody for being in show business? Oh, well, yeah. sure. I mean, uh, you, yeah. you, you, now that you've made it, I mean, uh, they, uh, they don't no, look down No, even from the very beginning. Even they, your they, friends? Yeah, they thought yeah. it was terrific I don't fun. think so as much anymore, but I, I think years ago the theatrical profession was, you know, considered, particularly for a woman, it was, you were oh, just yeah. one step above a floozy if you were in the Is theater. that right? <laughs> well, I think they like it as, if you, as soon as you get work. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, they don't like it. I think Dodie and Robert look very fine together, dressed in their little. Yes. Yeah. We're Please, going to coordinate all our outfits this week. <laughs> you look very, yeah. very nice. You look, you look they very pretty. They have an pretty. advisor. <laughs> yes. You're the what? They have an advisor. Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, we're going to pause for a couple of minutes, and we come back in round two of All Star Secrets. The secrets will be worth up to six hundred dollars. We'll be back to those investments. <laughs> It's nice having friends you can depend on, like genuine Bell. I chose Bell because they make them like they used to. If you want a phone that's genuinely you, be choosy and get one that's genuine Bell. Because when you get right down to it, this isn't the phone. This is. I'm Jean Dixon, and if you're an Aries, why not consider this doorway? A Libra, the Sculptor, Scorpio, we have the trim line. Be choosy, get genuine Bell. I can describe this fried chicken in two words. Mm, mm. These fried chicken lovers don't know it yet, but they're tasting fried chicken fried a whole new way. Well, I cook for a living. I know what fried chicken should taste like. And this? This is good fried chicken. Very good fried chicken. It's moist inside, it's crispy outside, and what more could you want? Introducing a whole new way to fry chicken. Oven Fry, the only coating specially made to fry chicken with oil in the oven. No more than four tablespoons. With new Oven Fry, your chicken doesn't bake, it fries in the oven. Without all that splatter and mess. It was fried enough. Well, I knew it wasn't that kind that you just bake in the oven. As long as it's good, I don't care where it's prepared. This is my kind of fried chicken right here. Very good fried chicken. Of course, my mouth were bigger. I get a bigger bite. New oven fry coating, home style flour recipe, and crispy crumb recipe for chicken that tastes fried because it is fried. Happy endings brought to you by Jello Brand Gelatin. Devil's food cake for Father Reagan. We asked him over. Yes, but he says heavy desserts make him feel stuffed. But he loves dessert. Okay, we'll give him a light dessert he can love. Dessert? I'm saying no to heavy desserts, much as I love them. Go ahead, Father. It's Jello Gelatin. It's light. And delicious? Why, I don't have to say no to dessert. Sweetheart, you're the best. So for happy endings, don't say no. Say Jello Gelatin. For tickets to All-Star Secrets, please write to tickets. All-Star Secrets, NBC, 3000 West Alameda, Burbank, California, 91523. And now back to Bob Eubanks and more All-Star Secrets. Thank you, Charlie. During our first secret, during our first secret, Conrad said that he thought the secret was about Robert Pioni. Sounded like Guillaume. I knew it would come out Guillaume. So we lit up Bob, and uh, he met Robert, but he met Robert when it wasn't Bob, but it was really Anne. <laughs> that straightened it all out? Good. I knew we could get that part straightened out. We have another secret now. You ready? Dale, you have control of the random money selector. Let's see what you can do with it. It could be worth up to $600. Yes, $450. Okay. This is round two. Our secrets are worth between $360 and $600. This one's worth $450, and here it is. One of our celebrities got out of being a juror at a major mafia trial by trying to intimidate the mafia defendants. <laughs> Now, it's not you, Ann, but who do you see trying to intimidate the Mafia over here? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, let me see. I don't know. I don't know if it's Bob. I, don't, I just don't think so. Um, it, you couldn't intimidate anybody. You're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Dodie, I don't know, maybe, maybe a little female intimidation there. Yeah. 
comes down to I'm going to say it's Robert. All right, I'm you think it's Robert it's Pine. Robert. Ann Lockhart thinks this is Robert Pine. Now our stars are trying to give you advice, not trying to fool you. You can take that advice or you can choose for yourself, but it's worth $450. If you would, please lock in your answers right now and tell us who you think it is. You're looking for the star who says they successfully got out of a jury duty trial by trying to intimidate the mafia. Look at there, three different answers. Dale, why did you say it's Dodie? Because it's, she's, the, she's the one that it seems least likely, but yet I think she'd have the courage to get up there and tell him to go sit on a tack. To the mafia. All right, if it's Dodie, you're gonna win $450. If it's Bob, Michael wins the money, but Vanessa will win it all if it turns out to be Conrad. Let's find out which one of our stars tried to intimidate the mafia now. It's Conrad Bain. Vanessa, you are right. You get $450. Sweet little guy. There's a guy who can intim to intimidate people. That was kind of dangerous, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess so, but uh, actors are desperate people. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I was on jury duty in New York, and uh, I'd served a week. So it meant that uh, if, I, if something came up of an emergency nature, like a job, that I could ask for out and have a good chance of getting it. But when I, so I got a call to do a special television show, and I told my agent I'd do it. I'd be at rehearsal the next day. Then when I asked the, the, the clerk at the, of the jurors, he said he couldn't do it, some big case. So we went into a courtroom, and that was that case. Thirteen mafia leaders were uh, congregating in a place called Appalachian, New York, and they were on uh -huh. trial. Yeah. And uh, I thought, how am I going to get out of this? Because all the excuses the people were given were finally ruled out by Judge Kaufman. So then they called my name, and I thought, I know what I'm going to do. Everybody looked scared. In fact, when the jurors walked down, they wouldn't look over where the mafia guys were. They looked like this. <laughs> so I thought, I know what I'll do. I will look as if I want to eat them alive, and then their lawyer will challenge me, and I'll get out. So he, he said, you any reason, you know, all the questions, any reason why you couldn't serve on this jury? And I said, no, sir. <laughs> and I looked over at the mafia, and all the people sitting in the chairs went, <laughs> suicide in the room. Yes. <laughs> so then the judge asked me, to, asked me the question again. So I thought, well, if he's going to ask again, I'm not going to answer the same way. So I said, well, Your Honor, if I have to serve in this case, it'll be a hardship on myself. No. My creditors, my family, and myself in that order. He said, you're excused. So I got out. And I couldn't figure out how I got out. And I realized after I got to rehearsal that I had acted so badly that he saw exactly what I was doing. He said, this guy wants to be out so badly, he's willing to risk his neck and throw himself to the... <laughs> and you did, I see. Get him out of here. Get him out. Quick. <laughs> okay. By the way, you can see Conrad Bain being intimidated every Friday night on NBC's hit series, Different Strokes. And Vanessa, you have control of the random money selectors, so it could be worth up to $600. Here we go. Where do you want it to stop? At $360. Okay, for $360, someone on the panel has this advice for young actors. Anything you can do, do it, because you can't get burned all that bad. And to remind them of their earlier days, our star keeps a picture on the wall of them being eaten by a giant ant. Now, it's not you, Bob, but who looks like they'd get eaten by a giant ant? <laughs> well, there's something about that that sounds like the 50s, and uh, I don't think it would be Ann. She's too lovely I, to uh, be uh, in a picture like that. Uh, uh, she plays hookers, remember? Yeah, right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. She looks down on hookers, yes. Uh, uh, Dodie, uh, I, I don't know. Let me come back. Uh, I, I don't think it's Bob. It, now, it's got to be between Conrad and Dodie. I think it's, uh, uh, I think it's Conrad. You think it's Conrad Bain? All right. Bob Guillaume thinks this one is about Conrad Bain. For $360, contestants, lock in your answers. You're looking for the star who thinks young actors should do anything. And they have a picture on their wall that reminds them they once were eaten by a giant <laughs> ant. <laughs> Michael, why in the world did you say Dodie? Because I think it's Dodie. Oh, it seems that's a good to me reason, that, Michael. Thank you very it, much. It seems, it seems to me that she's exactly the sort of person that would, that would give that sort of advice, and especially with the picture of the ant. Oh, well, if it is Dodie, the three of you will split the $360 three ways. Let's find out which one of our stars this one is about. It's about Robert Pine. I yeah. figured that one, too. No, no money over here. What movie was it? Back called Empire of the Ants. And I have a picture in my hall. Nobody saw the picture, so I can... I uh, know it was... Uh, I have a picture in my hall of uh, a publicity picture that they used to sell the picture of me going over the back of a boat with a... Uh, sort of like this. And a giant ant uh, gobbling up the... Uh, 
the better part of my anatomy. <laughs> no kidding. And uh, I look at that, that keeps me very humble. Yes. So, uh, so what you're telling me is that you don't think that anything an actor can do. Anything will... an actor can do. I mean, you ought to know that. Now, you and I were in a... <laughs> No, no, no. Bob and I did a picture at Universal. I wasn't even on the screen. Just my voice. Oh, you were. No, so. I was so bad they cut out the picture. Well, that <laughs> might have been true. I wish they'd cut out my part. It was a picture very aptly titled Out of Sight. Yes. Because it never <laughs> it saw truly the was. light of day, I don't think. When we come back, we're going to play our blind item. We'll be back for that in just a moment from now. So don't go away, all right? Pass the sugar, Gladys. Ralph, you ought to take better care of yourself and use a sugar substitute instead. I don't like sugar substitutes. You'll like sugar, twin. It looks like sugar, measures spoon for spoon just like sugar, and it tastes like sugar. I don't believe it. Believe it. It's on your cereal. Gladys. Ralph. Pass the sugar, twin. Sugar, twin. So much like sugar, it could fool you. Can I keep him? On one condition, you feed him. It's a deal. Okay. You deal with the smell and the mess. And me with the cost, especially those small cans. But Mickey's favorite cat food is tender vittles. Tender, tender vittles? vittles? Delicious tender vittles. No smell, no mess. And it costs a lot less than those small cans. No mess. No cans. Oh, boy. Then you mind meeting Stanley. Tender vittles. No cans, no mess. And cost a lot less. A beautiful idea in kitchens begins with a beautiful idea in floors from a Congolium. Like the seamless no-wax final with the delicacy of painted tile. And right now it's on sale. So is this design adapted from an antique quilt. And this one with the look of quarry tile. Beautiful Congolium ideas all on sale for 20% off. Ask participating retailers about the prestige collection on sale. And how to win a new home in the home sweet home sweepstakes. Congolium, where the beautiful ideas in floors come from. You're probably wondering why this family is blindfolded. Yeah, why are we? To prove that Velasic is America's best-tasting pickle. Now try Pickle X. You call it a pickle? Now taste Pickle V, the Vlasic pickle. Mm -hmm. Yes, more proof that Pickle V, uh, Vlasic, is America's face choice. Test Vlasic yourself and see why it's America's number one pickle. Aren't you the Vlasic stork? Well, I'm certainly not Mother Goose. Okay, we're back with all star secrets and a quick glance at our score. But Vanessa has five hundred and fifty-five dollars. Michael has one hundred and five dollars, and Dale's just having a good time. So <laughs> don't worry about a thing, Dale, because this can all change now. It's time for our blind item, and this time you're not going to receive any help at all from any of our celebrities. And the blind item can be worth five hundred dollars to each of you with a correct answer, or as much as fifteen hundred dollars if you're the only one with a correct answer. So good luck to all three of you. And here's our blind item of the day. Now we ask all of the members of our all-star panel this question. Do you think women should use their femininity to gain advantages? And one of them said, and I quote them now, yes, I think women should use their femininity to get what they want because men use their masculinity to get what they want. Now, that's our blind item. You now have 10 seconds to lock in your answers. You can begin right now. Based on your impressions of our panel, what you've learned about them today, who do you think gave us that answer? I think women should use their femininity to get what they want because men use their masculinity to get what they want. Everybody's locked in their answers. Let's find out who the winner of the game is going to be when we find out which one of our stars said that. It's Ann Lockhart. No one said Ann Lockhart, so that means that Vanessa, you're the winner of the game with $555. And Vanessa, along with the money, you've also won a two-week vacation in London, England. You'll be going on a London holiday as you and a guest jet from Los Angeles to England for 15 days of sightseeing, theater-going, first-class hotels, whole world charm, and warm hospitality. Furnished by Club Universe. Congratulations from All Star Secret. Vanessa says, are you serious? Yes, we're serious. And along with the $555, we thought we might give you another $500 to take with you for spending money, too. Good luck to you. Michael, you won $105. Thank you for playing our game. And Dale, we're going to toss in $100 to say thank you, too, for playing our game. Vanessa, today in cash and prizes, you won a grand total of $3,155. Okay. Be sure to stay with us because anything can happen in All-Star Secrets. At the end of our show, we'll have a surprise for one of our stars when we come back right after this, all right? Good old Max. I sure like to see him enjoy his dinner. And that's why I always give him this. Kennel ration tender chunks. How does it compare with ordinary dry dog foods? Judge for yourself.
Ordinary dry dog food's hard and crumbly, but kennel ration tender chunks is more like lean meat. Cuts like meat, chews like meat. Max really enjoys that good meaty flavor. Kennel ration tender chunks are new tender chunks. Beef and liver flavor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Juliet Prowse, and as a dancer, my legs are my fortune, so I'd be crazy to be caught with wrinkles around my ankles. That's why I wear legs. Legs regular pantyhose give me a beautiful fit. Because legs has memory yarn, stretches out and back. No bagging, no sagging. Believe me, nothing beats a great pair of legs. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. This week, a representative of our studio audience will receive Camel his or her quality goose down jackets for most weather occasions. Jacket features a water repellent shell and zip off sleeves for conversion of vest. In coordinated colors for a fashionable look furnished by Camel. Today's runner up players will receive long lasting DuPont Lucite paint. Custom blended in a rainbow of more than a thousand colors for inside or outside your home. Tough ceiling Lucite goes on easy, looks great. And Light Lunch, a hot new lunch idea from Lipton that you make in a mug. Hearty, delicious, satisfying Light Lunch. And Shakey's Pizza Keeper, it's a specially constructed corrugated box that helps keep your takeout pizza hot and parlor fresh all the way home. Shakey's. And highlight vinyl flooring from Congolium. No wax Congolium is durable and seamless in most rooms. Congolium, where the beautiful ideas in flooring come from. And it's Welch's sparkling grape soda. Refreshing and lively, bubbly and bouncy. Because you've never really tasted grape soda before until you've tried Welch's. And Campbell's chicken noodle, vegetable, tomato and vegetable beef soups come in 26 ounce cans. The soup lover size. Each can makes five 10 ounce servings. And now back to Bob Eubanks and more All-Star Secrets. Thank you, Johnny O'Donnell. I'll tell you how to surprise one of our stars what we do. Robert, would you please join me right here All for right, just a moment? Right. Because, Robert, yesterday on our show, as you know, uh, we had a disco dancing bear out here with Dodie. Got and today we bear. found oh, out, sorry. we found out that you did this picture as a big ant. So our staff did Not a lot as of... as a big ant. No, I mean with a big ant. Yeah, our, our staff did a lot of research, and we could not come up with a big ant. Great. However, I want to read something to you, okay? Yes. All right. Medicine is for me. The reasons are many and varied as to why I chose to become or have a medical career. The primary reason why I seek the vocation is my deep urge and sincere desire to help other people. Does that sound familiar to you? Oh, God. Does that sound... a long time ago. A Career in Medicine by uh, Mr. Pine. Where did you get this? Isn't that amazing? Well, Where, look, our, our staff also did some investigating. We found out you wrote this. You wrote this back a long time ago. I guess so. And a friend of yours borrowed it and copied it. In fact, he went on to become a doctor. Oh, yeah, kidding. you know, and now he is practicing orthopedic surgery in Pittsfield, Frank Massachusetts. Cohen. Sir, would you say hi to your friend, oh, Dr. Yeah. Laurie Cohen? <laughs> well, we got to go for today. Our thanks to Jody Goodman, to Conrad Bain, to Ann Lockhart, to Bob Guillaume, and of course to Robert Pine and his friend, Dr. Cohen. I'm Bob Eubank. We'll see you next time, and once again, we'll play more All-Star Secrets. Bye-bye for now. All-Star Secrets is a production of the Hill Eubanks Group. This is NBC News Update with Jane Pauley. Good morning. The Organization of, or of Petroleum Exporting Countries has decided to raise prices on Sunday, roughly 9% plus the optional surcharges. A terrorist bomb has killed one person, injured 20 others in law to Israel. It's a Palestinian protest against the Egyptian-Israeli peace treaty. Another bomb has exploded in Paris, injuring at least 26 people at a hostel for Jewish students. Egypt has all but resigned from the Arab League, the organization that's now looking for ways to sabotage the treaty with Israel. Heavy fighting is reported in northern Iran, local tribesmen battling government troops for more self-rule. And heavy fighting is also reported around Entebbe, Uganda, amid rumors that Idi Amin has fled from invading Tanzanian forces. Jane Pauley, NBC News, New York. On cliffhangers, Dracula has lived 512 years as a shadow of the night. Death is something I will never know. Now the daughter of one of his beautiful victims sets out to prove him wrong, aided by the grandson of the legendary Von Helsing. Together they hunt the hunter. Dracula stops Susan Williams and the Secret Empire. Cliffhangers, tonight.